Okay, we're going to try to answer practice 7a. And we're going to work inside this, the sandbox. So you can see I've selected sandbox here. And the first thing to do is give this program a name. I'll call it unit 7. And we'll create the program. We need to give it a type. It's Java main. You're probably not going to have all this stuff inside of here. You might just have something that looks like this. And let's just try to run that to make sure it works. And we're good to go. So the first thing we know is that we've got to create a class and the class needs to be called word list. So that tells us we've got to create a new file. And we're going to call it wordlist.java. And then we'll click add file. Now we're given some information already. So let's just, I'm just going to paste in what we already know. And this is basically from the project description. The other line I'm going to add in there before I forget is this import java.util. So we've got the skeleton done already. This is part A, this is part B. Uh, you, you might even just, I, I might just comment this out for now just so that we're, uh, just so we don't get too distracted with all the different things we have to solve here. Now, if we try to run this at this point, if we save this and try to run this, it's probably not going to run. We're going to have some errors here. Yeah, we're missing a return statement. So we'll, we'll come back to that. And I guess, I guess we could just do this. Okay, it's an int. I guess we better return zero. So how do you even know where to begin? Well, okay, part A wants us to write a word list method num words of length. Method num words of length returns the number of words in the word list that are exactly 10 letters long or some number of letters long. So to do that, we got to kind of build up our program first. And so I'm going to get rid of this line and we're going to start writing what we need to have in here. Okay, so we've made a, a new array list object called list. And we should add some values to that. Okay, we got a couple values in there uh, with some Two of them have three letters, one's got four letters, one got one has five letters. So we have to actually create an object, uh, a word list object. And to do that, we've got to, well, in, instantiate. So let's go word list, and we'll give it a name. I'll just call it test equals new word list. And what will we be sending into that? Well, we're going to uh, use as an argument that list that we just created. So we now have an object called test that should create it. The only problem is, let's run this. Let's see if this works. Uh, line 13, constructor word list in class. Word list cannot be applied to given types. So what we need to do is go into word list and we need to kind of fix things up here a little bit. Actually, before we do anything else, probably what we should do is, is build a constructor inside of our, uh, our class. And there may, there's only one argument. We've already got uh, array list, my list created. So we just need to assign that to our input list. We'll save that. And there we go. We've got a constructor. We've instantiated an object called list. Uh, let's see if this is going to work now. Okay, nothing happened, which is actually a good thing. No news is good news in this case, because it means at least we don't have any errors. And we saw the error when we first tried to uh, uh, to run the code. So the next thing we need to do is we, we need to get this uh, num words of length working. So I'm going to start with a string. You'll see why in a minute, hopefully. String T. This is not absolutely necessary, by the way. Just how I'm going to how I'm going to solve this thing. I'm also going to use a counter. Set that equal to zero. We're going to run a quick for loop. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we're going to uh, initialize i, which is essentially our counter inside of the loop. i will count up until it hits the size of this list, my list, and will increment each time that we iterate through the for loop. So inside of this, uh, what are we going to do? Well, first thing we're going to do is set t equal to So what are we doing here? Well, 
t is a string, and it's equal to my list i. So where i is equal to 0, it's going to get the first element in that list. And if we go back to it, the list that we sent in, what it should do is get the value 1, uh, as in o and e. So it's going to assign that to t. Then it's going to check the length of t to see if it's equal to len. There is a problem here, though. Well, let's just run the code and see if we get an error. Yeah, we do have an error. Incompatible types. Object cannot be converted to string. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to extract a string from an object here, which returns still a, a type object. So what we need to do is cast this to string. And that might be all we need to do. Let's save it and run it. Hold my breath here. Okay, it's still not happy about something. Missing return statement. Yeah, of course it is. So we're going to return uh, count. And let's try running it again. Okay, not bad. Let's just do a little test here. We're just going to output that just for fun. I'm going to save it. Now, it's still not going to work, and hopefully you see why this didn't work. We've got all this nice code inside num words of length. It looks like it should operate, but the problem is we haven't actually invoked that uh, method. So we need to do that now. So we go test dot, and then we type the name of that uh, method, num words of length. And let's put the value 3 in. We know there's two words in there that have that. So we should see the number two if we're lucky. Oh, look at that, it worked. Okay, not bad. Uh, that's one down. Now we could actually go back and do some, some work on this. In fact, we could get rid of this line altogether. I'll just comment it out. And we should also be able to combine these two lines into one. So I'm gonna comment them both out. And then what I'll do is go like this. Start by copying this line. So we need an if statement here at the front. If uh, string, we need a couple more brackets here. String my list dot get i dot. I think we need one more bracket there. Dot length equals len. Okay, let's give that a go. Yeah, and that does work. So you can see how we've combined those two lines into a single line, which makes this code a little bit more efficient. Not absolutely necessary, but uh, that's that's helpful. You, you could also put some code inside of here just to make sure that it's printing out uh, the words that it's supposed to be printing. That, that's something I, I commonly would do, but uh, again, not absolutely necessary. Okay, let's move on to uh, remove words of length. I'm going to start by uncommenting, of course. And this is going to be a little bit simpler than the previous one. Uh, so let's start typing for, and again, we're going to use a very similar for loop. In fact, we could probably copy the first couple lines of this just to speed things up. I'm going to close that uh, curly brace from the for loop. And we're going to have a, a loop inside of here because what we need to do is we need to do a similar test once again. And we've got to see if the lengths match, then we need to go back and remove. So actually, we can copy most of this, this is going to go pretty quick. Let's go back to there. We'll paste it. If string my list dot get dot length equals length, except for instead of doing this, what we want to actually do is remove. So we're going to go my list dot remove. And we're going to remove I. Now remember, if we, whoops, if we do remove a value from here, uh, and it increments, that means we can actually skip over a value. So we have to actually go I minus minus. If you're not sure why we did that, that's something you're going to want to look up just to make sure you understand. I would probably want to do something, one other thing here. Uh, in front of the for loop, I'm going to go system dot. And I'm just going to print out what my list looks like before and after. So I'll copy this line. That's the before. And I'm going to want to see what this looks like at the end here. That's important. Okay, let's save this. Let's run the code. And of course, this is not going to work because 
uh, we haven't actually called that uh, that method. So we need to do that as well too. Okay, we'll save that and we'll run it. And there we go. We can see what's happened here. We've gone from one, two, three, four to three, four. Let's change this just for fun to four. We'll save that. And there we go. The only four letter word was four. And so it looks like everything's working fine.